Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy C. He's back at y'all with another video. And on this video, I want to discuss the third of the Capware Takedowns Lesson 3. I got my cousin here, Big Boss. What it do, y'all? And um, I know y'all seen him on the last video when we uh, did the targeting of the Capoeira kits. And this on this video, I want to do three of the takedowns. And not I, one, not two, but <laughs> three. <laughs> yeah. And after that, um, I also want to show you guys um, the importance of the AU in case if uh, someone's trying to do any type of cats or what they call in the Capoeira world. The um, Rustera, uh, Hostera, I'm sorry, Hostera, which is basically a sweep. So, are you guys ready? Here we go. Okay, with this particular technique that I'm about to do, it's basically like in case of somebody throwing a punch at you, uh, a slap, uh, whatever kind of moves they're throwing upstairs or whatever you can go downstairs low in order to like take the person down and the name of this move is called our hostel our hostel is basically where you pretty much take the opponent down uh, as quick as possible i'm pretty sure you guys probably seen in brazil jiu-jitsu and other forms of martial arts but it's called are hostile. All right. Well, so what you do is, when the person's standing here, and let's say the opponent is getting ready to slap at you or whatever, you doing your genuine. So if I'm here, all right, go ahead and slap. You go right under here, and then you basically take the opponent down like so. So, so now we're gonna do a fast for y'all. Yeah. So in other words, if I'm here, all right, go. Like so. And that's the way you wanna do that particular move. You cool cuz? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, that's basically what that move is. And of course, there ain't gonna be no max, especially when it comes down to, you know what I'm saying, the real fight. Yeah, because you know, it'd be out of concrete, you don't grab whatever the person bumped the head, it's a wrap, pretty much. But if you want to grab underneath, underneath their legs, and it's like you basically dodging while you're doing your genie, like so, you can come under, grab, grab around, and you just lift them up, like this. Yank them up. Yank them up. <laughs> so that's pretty much for lesson number one which is our hostel. And now we're gonna go to takedown number two. All right, YouTube, I'm back with the second takedown move. And this move is called cruise, which is basically when you're doing the jingle, you pretty much like in case of somebody throwing like a front kick at you or something, you can use the Jenga itself in order to actually counterattack that person's technique. So, I'll just show you guys an example. All right, so basically, I'm getting my Jenga right, and uh, my cousin, he's gonna throw like a front kick, so go. Like so. Throw a front kick. Like so. <laughs> you okay, good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> You're looking for my head. So basically, when you send like little simple moves like that, you pretty much is doing, you know, like little simple yeah. concepts, you know. Just take them down. It looks like you vulnerable because you're going to jingle in reality. You slide underneath the leg and just rise up and boom, they fall on the ground. Yeah. And um, I guess that's it for lesson number two. Now we're gonna go to lesson number three, which is takedown number three. 
I'll see y'all then. All right, we're back YouTube with the third lesson. And this here, um, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, Portuguese, uh, but it's called uh, uh, Corte de Brajaco. I, I believe that's how you would pronounce this particular technique, but basically the technique is like in case it's somebody behind you, and they got like a bat or a club or something, get ready to whack you in the back of the head. And if you time it right and catch them, just by looking over your shoulder, you pretty much can get the upper drop on with this takedown. So, a quarter there for a hot I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But y'all ready? Here we go. So first of all, person behind you, right? right. Like you got a club. Boom, catch the hand, go underneath the legs, and then once you get them on your shoulders, you take them down. So in other words, if I'm here, and you're like, man, I'm gonna Like so. You good, cuz? Yep. Like I say, man, this dude here a warrior. <laughs> in case uh, any you wrestlers out there want to call my man up, WWE, <laughs> holler at my man. <laughs> That's from years and years of watching wrestling. Exactly. You learn how to take it far. Yeah. And the thing is, that's why I wanted to show you guys, like, Capoeira actually has wrestling elements in it. Because some of these moves that I'm doing is technically wrestling. I mean, is that something? That move in wrestling called a fisherman takeover. Okay. So. Or uh, Fishman Slam or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So hey, there y'all go. I mean, like I said, Capoeira, you got boxing, right? Wrestling. Even like when you're doing a gym, you notice it could be wrestling takedowns. Well, you can come here, here. Um, you can grab underneath the legs or, you know what I'm saying? You can just do different things. Uh, this is another move. This is just a little bonus. So basically, I'm, I'm going to do a Mejere Capasso. And when I do the Mejere Capasso, my partner here is going to duck. And then I'm going to go and do a shoot for his legs. So in other words, it's like I'm going to come here, you duck, duck, duck. I'm going to do it, go bang. You come here, you shoot for the legs. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So in case that kick misses. You all got a takedown kick. Yeah, you, you got a takedown take right there. Right. Exactly. It's like, do it. So right here, all right, I'm gonna do it quick. Okay. And then from now, you can get into mount position. There you go. First me, not that. Yep. So keep that in mind and kind of be a little more open-minded. Don't look at copyrighted just, you know, the game situation where they just throw the kids and, you know, play the songs and y'all get it. So many YouTube videos out there, y'all know. But uh, I'm gonna do one more. It's gonna be not a takedown, but how to not get take down. <laughs> and uh, it's basically gonna be like a sweep. So I'm gonna show y'all on a bonus video, which will be the fourth lesson. Now, I normally said it was gonna be three, but I'm gonna add a bonus lesson. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Now on this fourth bonus lesson, Oh, yes. I'm going to show you guys that anytime when they uh, cap the rest of this, uh, I did it like on my, I think, first takedown video with the hosteras, which is the sweets basically. You hear, you just basically try to take the opponent down. 
I'm going to show you the importance of the AU, the cartwheel movement that they use in Capra. I know I showed like on the fundamental video where I showed you guys, you can use a palm strike or you can use a fist while the opponent is down on the ground. So in other words, well, I don't really have to review that. Just go check out that video. Uh, the eight fundamentals of copper weather. But anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, one thing I want to add in lesson number three, that takedown that he showed, yeah. that y'all know Come in on, wrestling, please. John Cena used to use that move. And he used to call it the FU. And then, like, Brock Lesnar do it, but he turned it to the L5. So, either way, it's still the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And really, um, one of the reasons I had wanted to do this uh, particular episode of Motherland's Rivers about the takedowns because I had said in the future I was going to show a combination of capoeira with boxing, capoeira with 52 blocks, capoeira with brass. And when you really look at those type of videos, you're going to really get a more understanding of the capoeira style. So in other words, uh, back to the lesson. So what, what you're going to do is just basically Somebody standing right in front of you, and they basically want to carry you up. All right, go ahead. <laughs> like so, do it again. One more time. Like so. And let's say if you got one of your legs back, can you cartwheel off from the hip? Let's see. Go ahead. Yep. So it don't matter what side of the gym you on, you basically making sure you don't get your legs carried. And this is another one that you could do too. This is number two. So let's say on the gym, do it carry. Hop over. And then, well, they come this way with it, like this. Go ahead. Forward. Okay, let me show you something. Kick with that same leg again. Do it again. Like so. And there you have it. <laughs> now you get the understanding of the importance of Kapoor and why you do certain moves. It's not about you just going out there hitting flips. Don't want to necessarily mm -hmm. acrobatics. No. It's battle strategy. Yeah. I want you guys to remember that. Uh, any words in conclusion you want to uh, add? Yeah, I better learn some of these moves instead of always trying to shoot somebody. Yeah. <laughs> because back in the day, we used to fight. Yeah. So nowadays, people got it all twisted, but you still can go out there and do the moves and everything and leave that alone. Because the thing is, let's be realistic. What if somebody take your gun? What you gonna do? You know? I mean, let's be real here. If they can <laughs> dislocate your gun or whatever, what now? Well, you know? know you're gonna fight, so. The thing is, as warriors, they accept death. Death is actually a part of life. So when you're training, you're training in order to keep yourself from death. But if death occurred, that's all part of being part of a warrior. So that's the only thing I gotta say about that. When it comes down to these martial arts and what have you. And Capoeira is not nothing new. Capoeira has actually been on the battlefields in Brazil. It also been in the battlefields over in Haiti. And, you know, look up the Haitian Revolution. Uh, you guys are into history, and you'll find out that it was a lot of Angolans and people that came from the Congo warriors in Nigeria actually had Capoeira skills. So, 
Look into the history. Don't just listen to me. Look it up for yourself. And that's all I got to say on this video. You got anything else to say, cuz? Nope. Alright. Like I said, it's your boy Big Boss. That's easy. And we out. Peace.